Scientific notation is for those situations where you have either extremely large numbers or extremely small numbers that you have to deal with in a nice, neat, concise way. That's why we have scientific notation. So we can take numbers from standard form to a scientific notation form that is much easier to write and work with. Scientific notation's form is a times 10 to the b, where a is some number or value that is between 1 and 10. b is the number of times to move a decimal place. If b is positive, then it's a big standard. And this will make a little more sense as we go along. What a big standard means is that you're looking at a large number to be converted to scientific notation. So an example like 18 million would be considered a fairly big number. Whereas if b is negative, you're talking about a small standard or a small number. And that would be something like 0 .000028. Its decimal place is way over here to the left, and so it's a very small value. In fact, it's kind of hard to understand how small it is. So we use scientific notation to easily write these numbers that are awkward in standard form. Example 1 wants us to convert from scientific notation to standard notation. Notice that b is positive, and so our standard number or our standard notation would be a large number. Since b also helps us determine how many places to move our decimal point, we're going to take 5.23 and shift the decimal point the same number of places that the exponent tells us to. Since our number has to get bigger, we have to shift our decimal point to the right five places, three, four, five. Where the arrow ends is where we're going to place our new decimal point for standard form or standard notation. I'm going to fill in my little swoops with zeros, and that way I now have the new standard number, which is 5.23. Thousand, and there's my decimal place. And that's the standard notation of 5.23 times 10 to the fifth. Let's convert 4.25 times 10 to the negative fourth to standard form. Once again, we have an exponent, but it's negative. So we're going to have to make our value for a smaller. We do that by shifting our decimal point to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 places, because that's how large our exponent was. Filling in my holes with zeros and giving myself a decimal point, I now know where my new number will be. Decimal place, zero, 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 four, two, five. And that 
is my new number or my number converted to standard notation. Let's go from standard notation to scientific notation in example three and four. So we currently have eighty-one million five hundred thousand and we need to convert it to scientific notation. Our decimal point currently is right here. We need to make A or the scientific notation A times ten to the B we need to find A, or we need to find where or what value will go in for A. We need to shift our decimal point to the left as many places as we need to go until A would be between one and ten. So, so far I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places for the decimal to shift and that's where I'm going to put my decimal. Now A is between one and ten. So B is going to have to be seven and A is going to have to be eight point one five. And I can now rewrite this large standard number in scientific notation and we'll have eight point one five times ten to the seventh. We now need to work on example four where we have to convert from standard form of this very small number to scientific notation. Again, scientific notation has the form a times ten to the b where a needs to be between one and ten. In this case I have to shift my decimal point to the right however many spaces to get to a point where A will be between one and ten. I shifted my decimal point to the right one, two, three, four, five places. So B is going to have to be negative five because this number is very small and we shifted our decimal point to the right because of it. A is going to be 2.45. I can now fill in my pieces. 2.45 times ten to the negative fifth. 